hi everybody. Well, today's two days before Thanksgiving, and it was always my grandmother's favorite, favorite holiday, grandmother's. And here they were, they were very young for on Thanksgiving Day, and she absolutely prepared for weeks and weeks. I was scold. I always went over there to help her. I polished her silverware and made tons and tons of food. Well, today I'm making grandma's homemade buttery cornbread. No. We're going to cream the butter, and we're going to add the sugar. And one cup of sugar into the soft butter. Make sure the butter is at room temperature. We're going to cream this together. Nice and soft. That's what you want. Your know, grandma used to make a cocoa roll. She used to make butter cookies, cream cheese cookies. I can get the side. I'm sorry, camera lady. Am I okay now? She always used to make cream cheese cookies. Everything was made from homemade. I always, I used to go over there every weekend, the whole month of November, to help her with Thanksgiving. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to add in three. We're going to put in three eggs into the separate bowl. One. Oops. This little devil is still in there. Two. Three. Then we're going to also add in milk. Yeah, she absolutely loved Thanksgiving, and when she died, it was really a shame because it's like everything went with her when she died, and we all took it over. My mom took it over, but it was really hard on my mom. I'm also adding in uh, one and two thirds cup of milk. There we go. One. So we have in two thirds cup of milk. They had different kind of cooking utensils back in those days. We didn't have an electric mixer. I think she used an egg beater. Okay. There we go. We're going to mix the egg and the milk together. We're going to get rid of the eggshells because Grandma will be saying to me, Debbie, you have eggshells all over the place. And she would yell at me. You know what else Grandma used to say to me? Debbie, brush your hair. Remember that old lady so well. Sadly, she didn't meet she didn't meet my younger two daughters, but you know what can you do? She died. She was very old. She was like in her eighties. Okay, we're gonna mix this together before we do the dry. So all the egg is mixed together. Yeah, she loved Thanksgiving, and I know I think she made cornbread. She made all kinds of wonderful delights: strudel, butter cookies, you name it. She made it. Oh, her food was so yummy. Okay, now we gotta wash out the measuring cups because we don't want to mix flour. Because I'll be using a lot of flour tomorrow. We're now adding in two and two thirds. Oh, again. Two and one third cup of flour. Sorry about that, folks. One. Okay. Two and one third cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. One third. We don't want to make any mistakes on this because Grandma would be very upset with me. We're adding in four. There's a lot of baking powder in this, folks. Four and one half teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three. I spilled a little stuff on the table, but so did Grandma. There we go. We'll clean this up as soon as possible. Okay, and we're now adding in the cornmeal. Without the cornmeal, you do not have, you will, you will not have corn, cornbread. And this is one of the things that Grandma loved to make. We're going to do this over the sink. We don't need any more messy table. Okay, we're getting low on cornmeal. Okay. We're now adding in one cup of cornmeal. Luna. Okay. Cups here. We're going to whisk this together. I don't know when cornbread came out. I'm guessing with the pilgrims when they came to our country. I'm not even sure anymore. Now, I also want to add in a dash of salt. Grandma used to say a dash of this, a dash of that. That was her favorite saying. There we go. It's a little bit of salt. Of course, the salt's got to add it, folks. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start alternating. All right, I'm going to get out of the light. Am I still in the light? Mm -hmm. What? All right, I'm going to add the egg. I'm going to alternate the egg to the butter mixture. Egg, and then the dry. This is how we're going to mix it together. 
Now the dry. Thanksgiving, Nora? You want Thanksgiving? You want turkey? It's amazing how the kitty cats know it's Thanksgiving. How do they know? I don't even know. It's the same thing with Christmas. You know when Santa Claus is coming. Right, Luna? Right, Luna? There's Luna. I already got her. Okay. We're gonna use, let me just dry the spoon. I wanna get everything off and then we're gonna mix the dry, the, everything together, make sure I have the flowers out of it and then we're gonna pop it into the oven. Yeah, I remember those days so well. Every Thanksgiving, I always helped her get ready for Thanksgiving. We're going to mix this all together. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh. All right, we're going to bake this for about, I would say, uh, about 45 minutes. But she used to use an old-fashioned egg beater. I remember, oh, she used a lot of arm movement when she baked all her goodies. Oh. She was some kind of a baker. You know, the funny part of it is her grandma's mom, my great-grandmother, was, was even top than my grandmother. And my grandmother was a fantastic baker and cook. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to pop this in the oven. We're going to bake this for about a good 45 minutes, and we'll have a delicious, wonderful cornbread for Thanksgiving. And here we have delicious homemade buttery cornbread. Oh, it's so, it's very delicate, folks, but you can see what it looks like inside. It's delicious, and you can serve it with bread, you can serve it with butter, jam, whatever you want to serve it. From Deborah Way's Home Country Kitchen, have a great day. Please subscribe to our wonderful YouTube channel.